Hey everyone and welcome to Jordan's 8 month baby update! Ah, 8 months old! I can't believe it. Time has certainly gone by and this little guy is a whopping 18 pounds. Right you. And I'm gonna try and do this video with him but he is like all over the place now. He wants to move, move, move. Nothing can keep him situated. So, a little about Jordan. Let's talk about eating first. So, Jordan loves the boob still. He is exclusively breastfed and I don't see him weaning anytime soon. He still drinks about six to eight times a day and he at least wakes up once a night and breastfeeds. So yeah, that's what we have for him. For his solid foods, we actually started on purees and we changed to baby lead weaning and he's having a much better time with eating that way. Some of his favorite foods are oranges cut up into four big squares. He loves kiwi. He really likes avocados. He also really just eats what we eat. If we're having dinner, like and we're having potatoes, I just give him some potatoes, a little pieces of chicken. So let's talk about his favorite activities. Jordan loves to go to the park. That's one of his favorite places to go and he loves the baby swing. He's been going to the park for a few months now. He loves to go with his friend Isabella. They go like regularly, like at least like twice um, a week. Jordan likes to go on the backpack. The other day, Paul actually moved the lawn with Jordan and he fell asleep in the backpack. It was so cute. Yeah, he fell asleep. He gave mommy a kiss. Oh, Jordan actually learned a little trick. Can you say bye? Say bye. Say bye bye. Jordan says bye bye. It's so cute. The other day I let him watch Teletubbies and at the very end it said bye bye everyone and he started waving to the TV and I like looked at him and I couldn't believe it. It was so cute. Another one of Jordan's favorite things to do is read. He loves books. Um, if He has this one favorite book and it is called, I don't know, but it has all these baby faces on it. And there's another half, but he ripped the other half of the book, but he literally loves this book. He like stares at his friends. Who's that? Your friends? It's Let's talk about Jordan sleeping. So, we try to put him in his crib at night. I will still swaddle him, but we don't use swaddle blankets. We kind of just use a loose quilt. And he just likes the feeling of being wrapped, but we don't wrap him to the point where, you know, if he rolled over, he would like somehow suffocate or something like we make sure it's really loose so we'll put him in his crib and he'll sleep there till about like anywhere between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. and then I'll hear him and he'll cry and then I'll feed him but when I feed him I bring him back into our bed so he is waking up every morning in our bed but that's kind of something that I'm enjoying because it's fun isn't it yeah you sleep better when you get mommy. But, you know, he's eight months old, he's still a baby. He's not gonna sleep with me forever, so I'm just trying to enjoy these last couple of times. So let's do sizes. Jordan is wearing 12 month clothes, pretty snug. This boy is only 18 pounds, but he is so long. I don't have his exact measurements now, but look at this boy. He is so long, you guys. His legs, like he's wearing one year old pants right now, like they say one on it, and like his pajamas that we're buying are all like 12 to 18 months. And he actually wore a 24 month outfit the other day. He doesn't have much to him, but he's so, so long. He's gonna be such a tall boy. So yeah, that's what size he's wearing. So all the summer clothes we're buying like 12 to 18 months or up. Um, one of Jordan's favorite things to do too is to jump. Can you jump? Jump. <laughs> and it's so funny like if we have music going like the radio or something and we say Jordan can you dance watch Jordan dance are you gonna dance he'll like dance to the music if Jordan still doesn't have much hair but it's coming in pretty reddish blonde when I was little, I had strawberry blonde hair, so that's what I'm thinking he's gonna have. Jordan still has blue eyes. You have blue eyes. 
He's really active, you guys. Like, I am always chasing him around the hose. You have to be careful now because he actually, like, starts to get into things. He, like, army crawls around the hose, but he stands up on furniture. Like, he will get himself up off the coach. And it is crazy, like, to think that soon he's going to be walking. I really think he's going to skip the crawling stage and just go straight to walking. He does crawl. Like, if I put him on the ground, he will get to the other side. But it's... We have like laminate floors, so he kind of slides around. So he gets on his feet. And... Yeah, he just wants to walk. You see everyone else walking around, don't you? Oh yeah, one of Jordan's favorite things are the kittens. Stripey just had kittens. They're two weeks old today, and I say, Jordan, can you pat the kitty? And he he starts patting the cat. I say, gentle, gentle, and then he's really gentle. So that's good. Jordan still naps twice a day. Um, he usually has a nap around 12.30, around lunchtime, and then another one around five. We're trying to make his naps a little earlier because he's going to bed kind of late. We call it like his teenager time, so he'll go to bed at 10 o'clock at night and then wake up at 10 a.m. So he does sleep a solid 12 hours, which is good, but he will wake up that one feeding. Jordan is starting to babble. He's always got something to say. And he says mama when he's really like upset and crying. He goes ma, ma, ma. Say ma, ma, ma. Mommy. You're not going to say it? Say dada. Dada. Ba. Ba, ba, ba. He says B words too, like ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Um, another activity Jordan really enjoys is swimming. He goes at least once a week and he has so much fun at swimming. We were actually at the pool the other day and a little kid came up to us and was like, oh, Jordan, like they remembered him. It was so adorable. Yeah, they, rem they remembered you. Another thing Jordan loves is his wagon. He also has one of those little trike um, cars and he loves it, but he's so long, you guys. His feet touch the ground, like if I push him in it, they drag, so I have to like put his feet up. But like two weeks ago, it was a good inch, so he just took this huge growth spurt, and I can't believe it. Um, another thing about Jordan, hmm, what else? What else do you do? He's such a good boy, like everyone tells me you're so lucky. Like he literally is such a good boy. He is such a sucky though. He loves his mommy. He doesn't want to go anywhere without his mom. Right? Jordan? I can put a show on TV and literally cuddle up on the coach with him and he'll just sit there. He's such a relaxed boy, but he is actually starting to take temper tantrums. So if we're eating and he wants a spoon and he wants the spoon bad enough, he will take it from me. And if I take it back, he will take a temper tantrum. So when he does that, I just kind of walk away for a little bit because I don't want him to pick up on me giving it back to make him happy because then he kind of knows, oh, well, if I cry, I'll, I'll get my way. So I just let him finish what he started. If he starts crying, I'll just walk away. And when he's calm, I'll say, okay, we're gonna keep eating. So I think he's doing well that way. He doesn't really take much temper tantrums and when he does, like you can just like flash a toy in front of his face and it's, he'll stop crying. And when he does cry, it's like for like five to 10 seconds. It's not really even a cry, it's more of a whine. But yes, he definitely has started temper tantrums. Haven't you? Yeah, and when he wants mommy's attention, he lets me know. Yeah, all right. We're gonna say bye to our friends. Say see you next month. For our next update, we've been really bad on these updates, but I want to get more regular with them now that he's, you know, getting so big and a lot more easier to take care of. So we're getting a little antsy now, so we're going to say bye. Can you say bye? Bye, guys.